Hey guys, it's Dave. Uh, you know, I've been studying my circuit and looking at it real close and thinking about what's going on here with the magnets and the interaction with the coil and what the coil is doing to the transistor and the charging circuit. And I've realized I think I've had it backwards all this time. My, my understanding was a little backwards on this. I think I realized what is going on here and I was thinking when the magnet starts coming around and just starts to energize the coil before it gets there the base of the transistor here is at zero, zero volts so this is an open which leaves the charging circuit in play here on the charging side so as that coil is coming around and starting to energize the coils, that's the energy that's going into the charge battery. I believe that's what's going on until the trigger coil develops enough energy to trigger the transistor around 3 volts. And then it shorts this part of the circuit out and turns the drive coil into an opposer for the magnet and pushes the magnet out of the way until the charge is gone and then repeats that cycle every time the magnet comes to pass um, as the magnet's leaving this goes back to zero becomes an open again and then the charging circuit takes over as the next magnet comes in and uses that back EMF to charge the charge battery until the trigger coil develops enough voltage to switch on again and short this out and repels the magnet on. And then I was thinking about the timing, the uh, resistance, how that comes into, the, into play for the transistor. The more resistance you have, the longer it takes for this to get the potential it needs to trigger and short out. So you're delaying the effect and getting more capture but on the on the other hand you're also taking away its ability to drive that magnet out of the way and it's going to slow down and that's what I've been seeing on the oscope as I add resistance it does some weird things to the base of the transistor and eventually it develops some multiple pulses and this just cannot work effectively and I'm not getting the charging but when I get a nice clean signal so I think there's a balance here for the resistance on each circuit and I think it also comes into play of how many turns you have on the coil uh, what gauge wire you've used on the coil all that affects how the circuits gonna work and the timing for triggering the, the base <clears throat> excuse me on the on the transistor here so I've been watching the oscope and thinking about this and I believe I'm starting to understand what's going on here and uh, it's starting to make sense for me here. I hope I'm on the right track so if I've got it all wrong please correct me because uh, I don't want to be thinking wrong here when I do my next video. I want to have the oscope on here and uh, show exactly what I'm seeing uh, especially on the base here as I increase the resistance it does some wacky things and I get some deformed waves and then it turns into multiple pulses and just kind of drives this circuit crazy and that's why I've ended up with around 300 uh, ohms here I, you know, I have 200 ohms coming out of the trigger coil and then 100 ohms on each of the bases to each tra transistor so it's about 300 ohms and that's where my circuit tends to like to work. Uh, may not be the same for yours, but I think that's what's going on and I'm gonna play around a little more and do a little more research and the next video I have hopefully I'll have a better understanding of what's going on and I'll show my oscope signals and uh, show you exactly what I'm seeing and, and hopefully what I'm talking about is correct and again please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't want to be on the wrong track, you know, all this time I thought I understood what the circuit's doing, but I believe now I'm getting a better understanding, so uh, I'll keep plugging away and learning and hopefully get a little bit better understanding of, especially this tuning part, because it sure does some strange things if you don't have it tuned right, and that resistance plays a big role 
and getting the interaction for the transistor and switching in time for the magnet as it passes by and I'll get that down in, in the next video hopefully I'll have a better understanding be able to explain what's going on but um, this is what I've got so far and I thought I'd share it with you so again if I'm wrong please correct me I, I want to get this right so thanks again and hopefully we'll talk to you soon and I'll have some signals for you to watch again Dave out